so I was using my mill on another project and uh, after a while it started sounding really horrible so I figured I'll have a look at my mill gearbox and I'm going to use a little flashlight here I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well or not but this gear right here up on top um, when I turn it there's a few teeth three of them one two three right there that are stripped and they were in the gearbox amongst all the grease so i actually had to take this whole thing apart clean it out take some measurements and made a replacement gear right here All right, I got everything set up. Got the dividing head set to the 24, you can see the 24 ring. And to calculate that, I always remember this is a 40 to one uh, dividing head. The input is always 40 times greater than the output. And I want a 24 division. So a 24, 40 times more is 40, 24. Quick calculation here, 40, 24 is the same as one full turn and 16 24 so I have exactly 16 holes I'm not going to count them out here but there's 16 holes all the way around to the red uh, indicator arm so what I'm going to do is cut a gear and turn it around one full revelation and 16 more holes and then I can move the indicator arm to the next do one cut here this is the bit that I uh, ground up and I'm moving in 160 thousand as per these instructions here and I'm going to see how that turns out so I have set the gear the mill gears to run at 940 rpm it's probably faster than I should but that's the only gear that actually works because obviously I'm making a gear to replace the broken one in here um, so that's the only setting that will work but because it's just nylon I'm pretty sure it will be just fine so we'll see how it goes
take the replacement gear, I have to put the mill back together and select the one gear right here, that metal one at the bottom, and cut the gear. And so now I've got to take it apart again and press that uh, broken gear off up there and uh, put the new one back on, put it all back together. Hopefully that'll work. So the first thing I need to do is take off the little selector gear arm. There's a little Allen key here, and loosen. And then I hold on to it and pull out and slide this one out. Now there's some new grease on here, but you can see there's, there's a little brass a slider. It actually moves up and down and changes the gear. And here's the little knob that goes on with the Allen key. I have another one on the other side. Here's the one on the other side. Loosen the Allen key. And So the next thing I need to do is remove the little snap ring. Then I need to loosen these bolts. And there's two little nuts back here. So now this head should actually pop right out. I'm going to use a crowbar to lift the head off and even though it is uh, quite a big crowbar I have to be really gentle because uh, I just kind of want to wiggle it a little bit and give a little bit of counter pressure here and that should lift up the head. There you go. Put a little screwdriver in between here. Hopefully I should be able to use it my hands and gently lift this off. There you go. I have to slide it to the side because this gear actually goes underneath the one that's broken. So I just didn't want to pull it straight up. I lifted it up and then over a little bit and then around. That one I can set it aside. And here is the gear that's broken and here's the missing teeth now I have already had this out before because I needed to replace the roller bearings inside and I needed to take proper measurements of this gear and I made this gear See, it's a little recess here so I'm gonna have to press this off and press this one on and I should be able to install it back in it should be good as new
and some gear. Alright, so what I ended up doing is the uh, inside bore of the nylon gear is just not quite uh, enough interference. I only have like one or two thousandths. Um, so what I ended up doing is drill a little hole and put a little rolling pin or roll pin in there just, you know, to double double make sure that nothing gets uh, stripped over here. So hopefully it'll work. So I'm going to on and it fits I mean there is no play here at all so uh, <laughs> it turned out really nice it's probably gonna take a little bit of wearing in I would imagine um, but uh, yeah it works really well so now I'm just gonna put the grease back in put it all back together and hopefully I should be able to continue with my other project so the grease I'm putting in here is um, Canadian Tire brand Motomaster Molly Extreme Pressure, and it's an LLG, NLGI number two type grease. Um, I put this in the last time I put it, take it apart like a year and a half ago, and I've used it, um, never had any issues with it. Not sure 100% which one is supposed to be the right one, but uh, opinions vary, and this is the one I ended up putting in, and it Considering the, uh, the tools I had at my disposal and the accuracy with which I was able to replicate it, um, the old gear was pretty worn down, so I couldn't really take accurate measurements. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Thanks for watching.